Hello my air signs, Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. How are you guys? And welcome to your reading. We're taking a look at the real truth about your connection, what's going on between you and a particular person that you have in mind for this reading. General as always, guys, it's not going to resonate with every single person tuning in. So please do take from this reading as always what makes sense for you. Release the rest. If you are interested in your own reading, that information is down below in the description box. And I'll include a link to the decks and creators that you see here today. All right, guys, so cross watchers, of course, always welcome. I'm starting things off with a couple of my self-created decks, the Heart and Soul Love Oracle, as well as the He Said, She Said Oracle. All right, guys, so let's begin and let's take a look and see what the real truth is when it comes to you and a particular individual that you have in mind for this reading, okay? Angels and spirit guides, please, for my air signs, Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. And I'm actually, I think I'm going to pull one card per sign. So let's pull a card for Libra here. We have ruined. I thought I had it all together. My life, my ambitions, goals, dreams. Then you came and ruined all my plans with your presence, your beauty, your heart. I can't imagine a day without you. And yet here we are apart please return for without you my life is in ruins so libra you might be in separation from somebody that you miss that you think about you want them to come back you're still thinking about them okay so that's what's coming through here let's grab one for aquarius nostalgia and if you look real closely to that little bit of writing right there it says i miss you it's been years, yet it feels like it was yesterday. I thought that time would make this easier on me. My heart, my mind, I wish I could turn back time to undo the damage that was done, make different choices, but I can't. We can't. All we have are our memories. And I mean, for some of you guys, you might even feel like these two messages go together. But that is what's coming through for Aquarius. Either you're missing them, they're missing you, you could both be feeling very nostalgic about where things are at right now. All right, so I'm actually guided to this one for Gemini. We have timing. So the timing might be a little bit off between you and a particular individual here. Life is so simple for some people. They meet someone, they fall in love, get married, and live happily ever after. With us, it wasn't as simple. We met, we became friends, and more than friends. But life had other plans, other commitments, other obligations. It wasn't our time. Perhaps in our next lifetime it will be. So something about timing here, Gemini, when it comes to you and your person that you're thinking about. All right, so those are the three focus messages coming through here for air signs, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. So let me go ahead and do the same thing with the he said she said oracle this deck does contain one message for the masculine and one message for the feminine let's see what comes through here all right so again for libra let's grab a card he said you are my love of a lifetime she said i'm having the time of my life with you my life my love i can't even read I'm having the time of my life with you, my love. But something's been ruined here because you guys are not together right now. But this could have actually been a really great connection between you and this person. This was your love of a lifetime. So ultimately, the real truth is that you guys are not together right now. Let's grab one for Aquarius here. He said, I cherish every moment every memory we've ever shared please give us another chance she said every moment every memory i hold dear in my heart has been with you we're worth a second try that says nostalgia right there you guys are missing each other you're both cherishing the memories from the past that you have shared that's crazy okay let me go ahead and grab a card for gemini he said, I love you and that beautiful heart inside you. She said, the most beautiful part of my heart is because you're in it. I love you. 
damn, but the timing's off for Gemini. You guys love each other, but the timing is off. Those are some intense messages. Okay, so whatever part of that makes sense for you specifically for your sign, that is what's coming through here. Okay, so some pretty intense stuff coming in those messages. Let's go ahead and grab some additional insight from The Truth Rising by Fire Witch Tarot. Angels and spirit guides, please. The real truth about your connection. So I'm going to just go ahead and stick with what I've kind of started here, pulling separate messages for Libra and then Aquarius and then Gemini. So Libra, you guys are not together right now. What drove a wedge? What brought you guys into separation? What happened? There's luck here, though. Your luck is about to change. So even though you guys are not together, there's good luck that's actually blessing this connection. That's pretty cool. What about for Aquarius? What's the message for Aquarius and the real truth about this connection? You guys are feeling nostalgic. You miss each other. Why are you guys not together? We have evil eye. Someone is wishing bad upon you. Okay. So, I mean, maybe when things kind of fell apart in this relationship, which is why you're not together, maybe you were upset with them, Aquarius, or they did something that you consider maybe bad or evil at the time. And, you know, you wished bad upon them. But I'm feeling that maybe since then, that's not really what it is that you're hoping for and wishing for. Although I guess for some of you, that certainly is possible. But you're feeling nostalgic. You both are. There are good times that are reflected here. Let me grab one more for Aquarius here. One more card for Aquarius. The real truth. Angels and spirit guides. These cards are going forever. There we go. Gaslighting detected. So that could have been what was going on too and what was challenging the partnership. So we've got some challenges that are presenting itself here for you, Aquarius, as to why you guys might not be together at this time. But look at this next card for you. Total eclipse, two souls merging together. Okay, I'm just feeling that for you, Aquarius, that despite some challenges that you guys have been through, there's a chance you can find your way back to each other. All right, Gemini, what's up? What's the real truth about this connection? Angels and spirit guides, please. egotistic person so maybe the person that you were dealing with was too much in their ego you could have been as well and maybe you guys are just really burnt out with what bro broke you guys up or just life getting in the way and you guys could not make it work i feel like grabbing one more what else for gemini I'm also feeling that maybe you guys really tried to make it work, but just encountered a bunch of issues and challenges, things getting in the way of you guys coming together. Psycho. <laughs> Someone was psycho. I'm also kind of feeling here that maybe when you guys went your separate ways, either you were going a little bit crazy, Gemini, or, or they were. But at the end of the day, guys, this is what you both want. Look at that marriage. I mean, if we look at this card right here, bride and groom, bride and groom, you guys love each other. You ultimately wanted to spend a lifetime together and get married. But something happened here that did not allow that to happen. All right, so Libra, good luck is on your side, but I didn't grab enough cards for you guys. Let's see. For Libra, please. The real truth. What else do we need to know here? For air signs. Energy vampire. 
this person is draining your energy okay that could have contributed to the breakup here as to why you guys are not together you know you could have also been arguing with each other not seeing eye to eye but now that you guys are at a distance look at this tapping into your energies tapping into each other's energies so maybe energetically you're still very much feeling each other you reminisce about those good times that you have shared you know maybe you're feeling nostalgic too about where things are at with you and this person so let's add to this i'm going to go ahead and grab from the twin flame untold truths by jennifer aquarius tarot angels and spirit guides please the real truth when it comes to libra here This is not what I had planned for this reading, but this is how it's going. <laughs> I was just guided to do them separately. That was not the plan, but my angel guides directing me to go in a different direction here. Paying attention to the red flags. So, I mean, clearly there were red flags, which is why you guys broke up. And you might have been dealing with somebody here, Libra, that, as it says, they had their life all together. Maybe they weren't even looking to get into a relationship or get into a committed partnership. But things took a turn in that direction. And you guys fell in love. But, you know, something clearly drove a wedge here that between the two of you that resulted in you guys going your separate ways. But the thing is, when you guys were spending time with one another, you guys had a great time together. Lots of fun times. You enjoyed each other's company. Look at that. X returns, okay? Please return. So there, there you go. You guys have the possibility of coming back together. So for Aquarius, what do we have? the real truth for Aquarius at this time about this connection. Okay, we have a runner here. So either you were the runner, Aquarius, or it was the person that detached from you or you detached from them. And as it says here, it's been a long time since you guys have been together, but two souls merging together nonetheless there's the opportunity for a second chance here. And certainly from the feminine, it does say we're worth a second try. So my feminine's definitely wanting that. And I feel, as this card says from the masculine, please give us another chance. So it could have been the masculine who was a runner, running away from the connection, maybe wasn't ready, but maybe they're ready now, my feminines, and really wanting for you guys to come together here. And look at this card, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. So you guys will have the opportunity to just sit down and talk. Come together once again. Okay. All right, Gemini, your turn. Angels and spirit guides, please. The real truth about this connection for Gemini. So what we know so far is the timing was off. And someone was being sneaky, okay? There was sneaking going on. There could have been third parties. There could have been infidelities, trust issues. What else, please, for Gemini? Worth it. So regardless of the direction that this went, Gemini, I feel at the end of the day, you don't regret having met this person, having connected with them. I feel the love between the two of you is certainly here. And in order to bring this to fruition as far as you guys connecting, certainly in this lifetime, is this. Okay, this is the bottom of the deck. Teamwork. You guys have to put in the same amount of effort in the partnership in the relationship to come together okay so let's grab some tarot here angels and spirit guides please for libra 
what else do we need to know so there's an ex libra that wants to return but you got to just clear out whatever those red flags are but you know good luck is on your side here remember this card right there your luck is about to change when it comes to this connection that's currently in separation the real truth for libra angels and spirit guides two of cups you guys are going to come back together there's still a mutual attraction here between the two of you you guys are very compatible actually you might even see this person as a soulmate libra very special connection you guys keep each other in balance actually when you're together and where everything's good wow your person could be a water sign cancer scorpio pisces doesn't have to be it could be anybody what about for aquarius you guys miss each other ace of swords a new beginning clarity a breakthrough okay you guys just need to have that sit down heart to heart conversation as it says right there be open and honest with each other you're being given another opportunity to reconnect here and bottom of the deck here for you okay the sun so the ultimate happiness is represented here for you aquarius amazing what about for gemini angels and spirit guides for gemini there's somebody here gemini that you want as your soul spouse you know they've definitely captured your heart you love this person seven of wands okay so for some of you guys maybe the person that you're thinking about could be a fire sign here a leo aries or sagittarius so the seven of wands is perseverance it's standing up for what you believe in you know but the seven of wands is also competition and part of that sneakiness could have been again there could have been third parties which is why the timing is off here i'm also getting gemini and take this only if it makes sense is that you might have fallen in love with somebody who was already taken or already married and therefore if they're already married in this lifetime you can't marry them in this lifetime if they don't detach from that existing partnership very specific but the love is here it's just that the timing is off part of the reason why the timing is off is because they might already be with someone else so take it if it makes sense let me grab one more card for you gemini and you're coming through as this king of swords okay that mental clarity is definitely needed and my masculine air signs my masculine gemini's this could be your own vibe right there you could have already had children with your feminine here or having children from previous relationships already you're just trying to look at this from a very rational mind you know that's how you tend to think as the king of swords but there could have also been this need to cut out the sneakiness and to cut out the third party element to all this you know and with that bottom of the deck as that hangman you had to let each other go you had to put a pause to this or maybe they put a stop to it there are definitely changes that need to happen here in order for you and this person to come together and i'm guided to pull some more cards for you libra so let me let's see what else and i've got a card flying hold on and i love it look at this you've got the temperance card so this is sagittarius specifically for some of you but it can be any sign really so there's this need for patience with that temperance energy to be able to restore balance in this connection but this does represent a possible reconciliation for libra right here that's awesome harmony restored and look at your bottom of the deck you've got the four of wands so possible twin flame connection here amazing a reunion coming back together celebration marriage all of it amazing two of cups 
So very happy. Potential to be happy. A little bit more challenging for Gemini. But it's not impossible. You know, if you guys can actually remove the obstacles that are standing in the way and also whoever is in a committed partnership, if they no longer are invested in that, if they, for example, end that relationship and they're free to be with you, Gemini, then of course you can have a very happy outcome to this. If you believe in it and if they believe in this connection, which is what the Seven of Wands is all about, then yeah, you guys can have a happy ending also. Okay, so let me go ahead and grab some additional cards here from my Silhouettes deck. Angels and Spirit Guides for Libra. What else? What else do we need to know for Libra here? A reunion. So the only thing of concern for you, Libra, is tapped into those red flags. You know, whatever they are, you know what they are for your particular situation. So time to address those and, you know, just get rid of whatever that is. Beautiful. Untainted. Okay. Our love is pure, simple, and perfect. I'm grateful that we did not allow outside influences or interferences to contaminate our bond. You are the only one I need in my world, my life, my heart. So this is a very special love that the two of you share. All right, what about for Aquarius? So, you know, it's time for you guys to cut things out of the equation that are not serving you either. And look at this. Break free, take control, and get out now. All right, so if you are in a particular situation as well, Aquarius, where you know you need to break free from it in order for you to be with the one that you love and care for, to have this energy of the sun and the ace of swords and that clarity that's needed. Okay? It's almost as if this window here that says, I miss you, you got to break through that window in order to be with the one that you love. So there might be particular barriers as well that are standing in the way, but you can really find true happiness with this connection. You've got the sun right there, a new beginning with that ace of swords. All right, Gemini, so let's wrap it up for you. Gemini, mine. You see, there's one person that you have in mind. There is one person who has captured your heart. The only obstacle is that they might not be free to be with you, okay? So if there is competition here, that needs to be cleared out, which is why you guys are more than likely not together at this point in time. But look at this bottom of the deck. We do have the autumn season here. Okay, so we're looking at September, October, November as to possibly when you guys might have the opportunity to fix this or come back together. Um, this is picking up off of Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, or Sagittarius. So any of those signs could be the person that you're focused on, but really it could be any sign. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab some final messages here. I'm going to pull from my heart space oracle for each sign here so starting with libra all right the real truth let's grab one message for libra one message for libra it broke my heart to let you go life had Life had other plans for us, but please know that you will always have a place inside my heart. Okay, so yes, you guys had to let each other go at one point in time. That might have something to do with those red flags and why that's there. But you've always been a part of this person's heart and they perhaps have always been a part of yours. I wasn't ready for that, but that was perhaps what was meant for you, Aquarius. This does say there's sex and there's the art of making love. Our bodies in motion have created a masterpiece together. So those intimate moments could also be what it is that you're remembering and feeling nostalgic about. And the two of you together, you're a masterpiece. 
you guys can bring this back. You know, you've got the sun blessing this connection. All right, Gemini, what's your message? There are many someones out there, but you're the only someone for me. Exactly. Okay. No one else will ever occupy your heart the same way aside from this person. All right, guys. So that's the real truth for Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. I do hope whatever came through for your sign makes sense for you. Take from it what makes sense and release the rest, as I've mentioned. If you're interested in having your own personal private reading, all of that info is down below. That's it for now, guys. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time.